Now the new information about the Gilgo Beach murders and the investigation in other states of their unsolved murders. That's now growing. Suffolk County Executive Malone tells us cops around the country are opening their files. Meanwhile, the investigation here into the still unsolved murders of six other people on Long Island, once the coldest murder mystery in the state, is now a very hot police case. Long Island reporter Shantae Lanz with the latest. She's in Massapequa Park. Shantae. Well, well, investigators have been on scene here for a week now. They're looking for evidence tied to this Burgundy house, the home of accused serial killer, Rex Hewerman. More evidence is pulled from the Long Island property of alleged Gilgo Beach serial killer, Rex Hewerman. This is just the beginning. These are allegations. We need to prove these in court. It's been one week since the arrest of the Midtown Manhattan architect, husband and father of two, flipping his quiet Massapequa Park neighborhood upside down. It's crazy. It's really scary. I'm just shell-shocked, to be honest with you. The search for more possible victims is now going beyond the 10 bodies found along Gilgo Beach, expanding to a fourth state. We have to. Uh, shame on us if we don't uh, look into Las Vegas, uh, South Carolina, uh, even, uh, even Atlantic City. Suffolk County Police Commissioner Rodney Harrison says investigators are now checking to see whether Hewerman had ties to Atlantic City, New Jersey, and a string of unsolved killings of women who worked as prostitutes. This, as Suffolk County Sheriff's deputies are also interviewing incarcerated sex workers about their interactions with Hewerman. He had reached out to them uh, to, for sex. Uh, fortunately for these two women, they uh, took the calls but did not uh, meet with him. Hewerman has been charged with murder and the deaths of three young women who worked as escorts. His wife of more than 25 years filing for divorce, seen here in this FoxNews.com photo. The docket says it will be uncontested. Well, that was Rex Hewerman's uh, next door neighbor we spoke with. He's lived next door to him for 30 years. Investigators will be out, we're hearing, for at least several more days.